G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Schindler's List today. I have been pushing this off for a really, really long time because I feel like this movie is going to be a huge commitment from me emotionally and mentally. I have generally heard from people that this is just a really difficult movie to watch. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we'll see. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Name? Orowicz Salomon. Zucker Helena. Yes, Salomon. Hauptmannheim. Mate, I'd be so stressed in a situation like this, especially with your family. Who this? Very uh, well dressed individual, very proper. Ah. And a Nazi, I think. I just heard this song in True Lies. That was the last movie I watched. Is that... Is that Liam Neeson? Oh, he's so young. Yes, oh. you know who that man is? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> From the gentleman. Well, they know him? Nope. You'd leave a woman alone at a table in a place like this? Sweetheart, you're the picture of loneliness. Oh my goodness. Who is that man? That's Oscar Schindler. Oscar? <laughs> That's my name, but it, instead of a K, it's a C. Goodness me. <laughs> Mate, this guy's really good at making a good impression, hey? But he doesn't seem like everyone else there. Everyone there was very focused on, like, their mission as, like, Nazis. Where, like, he just seems like a proper businessman, you know? All about making a buck. <laughs> Aww. Right into it, are we? Right, so they needed a bunch of Jewish people to help basically lead all the Jewish related things that they could trust. And tell us we don't live there anymore. What if I just took this thing off? What are they gonna do about it? They will shoot you. I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. I am. The way everyone just went so silent then. Maybe they thought he was in trouble. So I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German. So there we are. But the worse things get, the better you'll do. You must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. The Jews can no longer own businesses. That's why this one's in receivership. Oh, wow. I pay them back in product, pots and pans. If you want, you could run the company for me. Wow. Let me understand. They'd put up all the money. I do all the work. What do you do? The presentation. Right. Makes sense. They both seem like very intelligent men in their own fields. I love how much uh, Schindler didn't actually care at all about who was Jew and who was German. He just cares about who is the best qualified for what I need to make more money. It's a very interesting protagonist, right? You have a truck of wicks, 9 by 12, 9 by 14. Pardon me for interfering, but that's a nice shirt. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? It's illegal to buy or sell anything on the street. We're here to pray. Mate. How many? Here we go, he found someone. Wow. So all the Jews were just forced into such a tiny little space. That's so horrible, man. And it's sad because if you look at it from like a... I mean, it's going to sound like a horrible comparison, but it makes sense within the context, right? It's like when hunters close in on a group of prey, right? Or something, and they close them in into a small area and then deal with them. That's so sad. Just have your entire life just ripped out. Oh my gosh. A little girl? Kids are victims too, right? They're just being brainwashed. Taking what they hear. How on earth could it possibly be worse? Money still money. Trade goods. That's the only currency that'll be worth anything in the ghetto. You want a contract? To be upheld by what court? I said what I'll do. That's our contract. Damn, all on trust. But they don't really have much of a choice, don't they? They're still businessmen. That's the problem. <laughs> They're like, this is unfair, but it's all we're going to get. Poles, you pay wages. Generally, they get a little more. The Jewish worker's salary, you pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. Right. Why should I hire Poles? It's outside the ghetto, so you can barter for extra goods. Wow. He's such an opportunist, hey? 
You need to convince him you have a trade, something valuable to the war effort. I'm a musician. What if you don't? I'd find a good hiding place if I were you. I'm not going to hide like some animal. Yeah, I imagine if you're in the creative industry, it doesn't really <laughs> help too much in a situation like this. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. Me, not essential. I teach history and literature. They don't see it as essential for Jewish people. Very good. He's 53 years old. It's too new. Oh, <laughs> that looked so bad at first. Like he was just being so disrespectful. But he's just doing that to make it look more authentic. Your work certificate you keep in your pocket at all times. I'm a metal polisher. Wow. Take the right so what's going on here is like all the essential workers being hired by Schindler and all the people who aren't essential workers are basically just being shipped, shipped off. Is that what's going on? Occupation. I'm a writer. I play the flute. But skilled metal worker. <laughs> he can make tin pots. Yeah, that's what they care about. But it's sad because you know that he only cares and is only passionate about the other thing that he does. How is your therapy? Uh, all right. Please. Right. <laughs> so not crazy fast. <laughs> oh boy. Bro. Oh. <laughs> She's the only one that's actually doing the job well. <laughs> They're also qualified. Big smile. You're Big smile. kidding me. Shinla. I love this though. It's so complex. It's like he's actually helping some Jewish people. He's also not the greatest person. <laughs> Deliver a product of unparalleled quality. Absolute confidence and pride. Full line of field and kitchenware. Looking forward to a long and mutually prosperous association. <laughs> gratitude and very best regards Oscar Schindler oh. mate this guy's good he's really making the most of this whole thing isn't he I'm trying to thank you I couldn't have done this without you you're welcome I wonder what's going through his head get out of here is he just surprised that he's showing him any sort of gratitude is that what it is he's not expecting anything back good morning Oscar who is it? <gasps> um. She's so embarrassed to look at her. You know something? You would like her. You look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Schindler Mag. Yeah. Right, so that's his actual wife, I'm assuming. Yeah, well, no wonder the other girl was embarrassed. I've got 350 workers on the factory floor with one purpose to make money. All the riches of the world. Mate. It's comforting to see that nothing's changed. <laughs> You're still egotistical. There was always something missing. In every business I tried, I can see now it wasn't me that failed. Something was missing. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Gee. But isn't that true? So many people profit off it. It's so sad. He's dancing with his wife, and you're even looking at other women. Should I stay? It's up to you. Ah. <laughs> she wants to know if you want her to be there. No tall man or maitre d' will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler, and I'll stay. Bye, darling. And she leaves. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. I mean, hey, what a good ultimatum to make, though, just to really see how much he cares about you. There is a machinist outside who would like to thank you personally for giving him a job. Essential to the war effort. Thanks. And to you. That's great. You're a good man. Aww. Aww. Did you happen what? to notice that that man had one arm? What's his use? Very useful. Oh, man. Ausgeladen. Jeder nimmt sich eine. We'll be late for work. Some of the officers here don't give a damn about production. Right. Nothing to do with reality, Oscar. Juice, shoveling, snow. It's got a um, ritual significance. Are you sure? <laughs> Come with Gosh. me. I am an essential walker. I walk for Oscar Schindler. Snow, look at the snow, look at the snow. <gasps> I lost a worker. I expect to be compensated. A Jewish skilled worker had a place in Reich Economics. A reasonable idea. A one-armed machinist. Quite skilled. Oh, man. 
I didn't see that coming at all, man. Oh, gosh. He was on his way to work, and they... And because he couldn't do what they asked him to do, they just shot him. Stand! Stop the train! He's here! Somehow left my work car at home. What if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? Yeah, he doesn't... I don't think they realize yet that he sees everyone that works for him as just assets at the moment. It's all selfish. What? So they just take all of the stuff that they were... That, that, like, all their special belongings that they took out of their homes, and they just separate it all. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. Oh gosh. I'm assuming that somewhere in that process they just pulled all those teeth out of people's mouth because of the silver. Was broke and sharing the room with 12 people, I didn't know. <laughs> you laugh about it? I have to laugh. When's the last time we stood around and talked? No one took my business away from me. You don't really have a business to take. <laughs> Get to his liberty. May similarities between this and different events that happened in history with the Jews is just so similar, isn't it? Which is where you will want to start, huh? Do you have any questions, sir? Is that, uh, is it Rafe Fines? Is that the pronunciation? Or is it Ralph? <laughs> she says the foundation was put on, she's got to take it down. <laughs> Bitch! Herr Commandant, the entire foundation has to be torn down and report. You are an engineer? Yes. Mate, she's very assertive though, like very, mm. It could be a problem though in a situation like this. They don't like being talked down to. Shoot her. What? I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm doing mine. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Take it down, report it, rebuild it, like she said. He knew she was right? Oh my god. So the only reason he shot her was because he didn't like the, the way she was correcting them. The young will ask about this day. They sure will. Six centuries there has been a Jewish cracker. Those six centuries are a rumor. Oh. They never happened. Today is history. The amount of evil that needs to be inside you to be able to say that with conviction and to think you're doing something righteous. Hide. No, don't run. Oh, yeah, they're like, we're going out on our own terms. It's so sad, though. Oh, my God. As good as that. Give me a moment. Just let you drink your inside. What the f <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Okay, someone has to explain to me in the comments what just happened there and why they let him live. Is that... Is that red? The, that, that little girl? That's the first bit of colour I think we've seen in the movie. Oh gosh, just all the people just being massacred around her. Oh, they're doing that... Gosh. They say they did that to save bullets. I wonder why they chose to make that girl the only colored thing in this movie. Okay. Now it's black and white again. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, this is absolutely disgusting. What's this? Is this Bach? How are you treating this like you're just like doing pest control or something? How? They're like unfazed. I wish this fucking light were open. Oh, really? That's what you think? Right. He's lost all his workers, hasn't he? He's gonna have to somehow find a way to get some people out of here to work for him. The worst is over. We are workers now. Um, I wouldn't be so sure. Wait, is this just like a little game for him? Oh my gosh. The level of psychopathic nature you'd have to have to be able to just be able to do that. What the hell? God, it's like he just gets a kick out of seeing everyone just like in terror, just running around. Oscar Schindler. Leo Young. Hello, Oscar. Glad you could join us. My pleasure, my pleasure. You lost weight. Not only in the shoulders. Please, everybody. <laughs> Oscar Schindler. Everybody's gone. They're not gone. They're here. They're mine! Yeah, gosh, mate. I have to find somebody else. I have to train them. We're going to be making so much money. None of this is going to matter. This conversation was bound to happen. What you want is your own sub camp. 500 kilograms of barbed wire, 6,000 <laughs> kilograms of electrified fences, <laughs> ceramic insulators. Oh, boo hoo. You could make things easier for me. I'd be grateful. It's doing a really good job, though, this movie is showing the mentality of some of the individuals that were Nazis. Very stern. Leaving you to take care of my main account. Look at me. Don't forget who you are working for now. Gosh. Wait, so why has he just got this guy there? Mate. That was a kind of cool little insight though, is it's not just, they're not just doing it to make them feel terrible. It's also like they actually see them as like putrid, like the way they moved out of the way. It's a conviction that they have about it. I couldn't get you out of here. Be all right. I look in on you, see how you're doing. Herr director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. It's nice that he believes in what he's doing as well. It seems like from the start, this guy thought it as an opportunity for Jewish people to work and escape from what was happening. Right. On the oven. What are you making? Hinges, sir. Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. Mm. This is maybe the most terrifying thing to do. Is have to make something, and they're just there with a stopwatch. You've been working since, I think, what, about six this morning. Such a small pile of hinges. Oh, man. That's so cruel to make him work so hard to get that one hinge done just to prove that he isn't in making as many as he could. Oh, Christ. Oh, my gosh, dude. Stop. Ah. I was put on to shoveling coal. <laughs> Gee, what the hell happened there? What, they just let him get back to work? What the hell? Wait, so what's their plan? Thank you, sir. Okay, so he's good with metal, so we gave him a job here. Nice. So stole the chicken, hmm? And nobody notices this. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even know who did it yet. <sighs> you committed this crime. No, sir. Him! You reckon he didn't do it and he just pointed at him anyway? Just to kind of save anyone else? I don't know. Thank you again, Herr Director. You're welcome again. Such a great company. <laughs> nice. This is cool. He's finding people with specialties in the camp. Only five minutes. To speak to the hair director. Oh, that was interesting. He wants you. <laughs> what was up with that? He just had a look at her and then said no. 
Uh, I okay, I see. Ugh. Jeez. Please, sit down. <laughs> That's so bad. They say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. Their names are Hana and Jakob Perlman. Such activities are illegal. You, to get forced you will not entrap me, Miss Prasa. Try and I will have you arrested. Guy. You can tell how conflicted he is, though, about it. What am I supposed to do about it? Send them over to Schindler. His place is a haven, didn't you know? It's dangerous! He's got the war. It brings out the worst in people. Never the good, always the bad. Always the bad. I think he knows that deep down, Schindler is a good man trying to get out. <laughs> Husband and wife. Jacob and Hannah Perlman! Have Goldberg bring them over. Mate. Oh, there you go. He did something good. I kind of find it funny that this entire movie, he's been trying to use everyone as a way to create opportunity and to become an asset. But this entire time, his Jewish assistant has been actually, like, using him to save people. You don't have to report to me, Helen. I'm Schindler. First day here... He beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. What? Ask me where they were for his dogs. Oh, okay. Why are you beating me? He said the reason I beat you now is because you ask why I beat you. One day, you will shoot me. He drew his gun and he shot a woman who was passing by. What? Couldn't guess what. Had she done? Yeah, right. There was, yeah, exactly. There was no reason for it. He enjoys you so much, he won't even let you wear the star. He doesn't want anyone else to know it's a Jew he's enjoying. It's all right. It's not that kind of a kiss. <laughs> wow, such a simple act of physical affection there. So selfless, and she's just... It's like a massive gift. I think that's what Schindler's talent is, though, in this movie. He isn't just a brilliant businessman. He understands people and their motives to just a crazy extent. Power is when we have every justification to kill, and we don't. Oh. I think that's power. It's what the Emperor said. I stole something. He's brought him before the Emperor. He's going to die. The Emperor pardons him. That's power. Come on. I don't know if this is going to work. I bought the new one. <laughs> nah, he seems pretty psycho. <laughs> oh, gosh. She was smoking on the jump. I'll tell her not to do it again. Damn. Maybe he did listen. I've been unable to remove the stains from your bathtub. Oh, boy. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. <laughs> He's actually using those words. Maybe he's just testing it out to see if he actually does feel good about helping. I pardon you. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like he's too selfish for it to make him feel good. Whoa! Are these like warning shots? Oh my gosh. Dude. What in the hell? I'm so intrigued as to what this guy's thinking. The acting is so good. This is where you come to hide from me. The truth, Helen, is always the right answer. Not in a time like this. I would like so much to reach out and touch you in your loneliness. And I, I realize that you're not a, a, a person in the, the strictest sense of the word, but. I mean, when, when they compare you to Berlin and to rodents and to lice. Is this the face of a rat? Oh, man, that poor woman. No, I don't think so. Bitch. Gosh. I'm into it now. Didn't you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> So I, I wish for your 
Happy birthday. Thank you very much. What a lovely cake. Wow. In front of all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Thank you very much. Dude, the drama. The controversy. I wonder what made him think he could do that. They shaved their hair, headed down a big corridor, bath and inhalation room, and then they gassed them. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, what, what, what are they doing? Oh my gosh. They're using their blood as makeup? Uh, can someone tell me in the comments what this song is? Oh, they know. I'm telling you, they're hiding and then Danka. Oh, the fact he's got to sit in there. Oh, oh, poor kid. Do you say we get your fire hoses out here and hose down the cars? <laughs> Oh, mate, it's difficult because he wants to do things to help them, but he doesn't want to draw any attention from other Germans. He likes good-looking women. He doesn't think. Oh, wow. <laughs> he has so many women. <laughs> He's testifying for him? She was Jewish. She shouldn't have done it, but he wouldn't see this girl. Wow, I'm, I'm really genuinely shocked this guy is trying to help him. Oh, it's Ash. Where's it coming from? Incinerate the bodies of more than 10,000 Jews. Oh my god. The party's over, Oscar. They're closing us down, sending everybody to Auschwitz. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so everyone's going to Auschwitz. Oh, no. There's the... Oh, my God. Some days. This is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. Oh. It is so hopeless, isn't it? It's like, despite the fact that they've made a lot of money and they've done well for themselves, it's like... What's it all for? People are being massacred. You want these people? These people. My people. I want my people. Who are you, Moses? Come on, what is this? Ah, that's poetic. All you have to do is tell me what it's worth to you. What's one worth to you? It's a miracle, though, that they've formed this, this relationship with each other where he trusts him now. Uh, Steger Fischer. Ishmael Fischer. <laughs> wow. So he knows them all by name. Toshev. That's Toshev. incredible. All the children. So would otherwise all of these people be shipped off to Auschwitz? Mate. And he's making bank from this. 600. Oh, you know what that's like? That is so similar to uh, Desmond in uh, Hacksaw Ridge saying, One more. Give me one more. Can't do anymore. I will not accept that. Now. <laughs> 850, give or take. Give or take what, Stern? That's it. You can finish that page. This is like finally the moment in the movie where he's like actually like I need to save these people. Find them your bank for each of these names. If you were still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. You're costing me a fortune. Finish the page and leave one space at the bottom. He didn't realise this whole time that he was buying them. Oh mate, you can tell the weight now of what he's doing. The list is an absolute good. The list is a life. I'll never find a maid as well trained as her at Brindits. Yes, save her. No. He doesn't want to lose her. One hand of 21. No. If you win, I pay you 7,400 right marks. Natural, I'll make it 14,800. If I win, the gold is on my list. This is horrible, but this reminds me of him in Star Wars Phantom Menace. <laughs> what does it just said for him? A natural 21 was in 1,800. Yeah, that was his highest price, right? So he's just going to ask him for that. Helena Hirsch. Where's the server? 
Yeah, that, that you're actually right this time. The worst is over. We make ice in the water. <laughs> Come, get another one. That's nuts. The fact that they're he's teaching him how how to, how to scientifically <laughs> make ice in the water. It's such a dire situation. It's only a short walk further to the factory. A hot soup and bread is waiting for you. Welcome to Brindlitz. Mate, what a relief that would be for them. I don't like. No, you. Hey. Like. Hold up, Aren't they're going to uh, Schindler's place road, right? Because these are all the women, I'm assuming, that he was talking about. Oh, no. No. Why are they here? They're meant to be with Schindler. What, what happened? What the hell went wrong? Mate, this problem had better be fixed up quickly. Mate. In comparison to what we just saw with Schindler, this place just looks like hell. They're in Auschwitz. The train was never routed here. A paperwork mistake. God, a paperwork mistake. He's serious. Oh man. And after everything they heard too about the women's heads being shaved before being gassed. It's so demoralizing too because I feel like losing your hair is like for a woman is very symbolic of like losing your beauty in a way that's so sad just that image of a woman holding a child close to her breast naked and afraid oh god no i can't with this anymore i can't oh the trauma oh they're just waiting to die it's horrible Wait, are they just being showered? <laughs> oh. oh, I thought they were getting gassed. Oh my gosh. So rude for them to do that to us. <laughs> Mate, the build up too. It is not my task to interfere with the processes that take place down here. Or that in the coming months, we're all going to need portable wealth. I do not say I'm accepting them. <laughs> you shouldn't get stuck on names. Isn't it crazy that it's just highlighting throughout this movie how difficult it is to just do simple things to help them? In fact, it cost him almost his entire fortune just to help these people. Whoa, whoa. These are mine. These are my workers. Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. Back on the train! Yes, Shinla. Mate, what a transformation though, hey. For his character. <laughs> isn't isn't that a beautiful image? It's so poetic because of the way throughout the movie he's been like almost like a womanizer and sleeping around with different women, having multiple partners. And then you see this shot of him just selflessly walking these women to freedom basically it's such a beautiful change in his character and all the men all oh, looking for their probably looking for their wives or children it is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause if you shoot without thinking you go to prison i get paid damn hell yeah <laughs> for your cooperation you have my gratitude Come on, go. yeah just a little a little icing on the cake that maybe it would have been difficult for them to eat. <laughs> El Gorman will meet Trudy whatever must take you again. This is my wife's turn. I don't keep any secrets from my spouse. Oscar. The artillery shells, tank shells, rocket casings, apparently all of them have failed quality control tests. If this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'll be very unhappy. <laughs> wow. So not only is he providing work for these people to get through the war, he's also producing stuff that they can't even use in the war. That is amazing. Rabbi. Good, Herr Director. Sun's going down. Friday? It's a bat. You should be preparing for the Sabbath. <laughs> yes. 
Come on. Even lets them continue their traditions. What a freaking change. So how does he get away with all of this without anyone sussing him out? <laughs> I wonder what they're thinking. Because they're my biggest fear is one of them making a fuss. Okay, so we had to bribe them for seven months and stuff just to keep things on the down low. That's amazing. Am I broke? Well. Signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land in Europe, the Allied Expeditionary Force. So that's it. War is therefore at an end. Oh my gosh. Oh, just in time too, because he was running out of money, wasn't he? Midnight tonight, the war is over. The six long years of murder. Victims are being mourned throughout the world. I'm a member of the Nazi party. You'll be free and I'll be hunted. Wait, what? For real? I know you have received orders from our commandant to dispose of the population of this camp. They're all here. This is your opportunity. <laughs> nah, they're not doing it. Return to your families as men instead of murderers. Yep. Flip that. I'm out. What's the point? It's like, we lost. <laughs> He's like, oh, that worked? I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. Uh. Oh. This piece of curves, I want... Um, I want that cloth distributed to the workers. The way he's still trying to help. With minutes left. We've written a letter trying to explain things in case you were captured. Every worker has signed it. Oh, every worker. It's like he's their, their dad, you know, like their papa, protecting them all. Dude. I could have got more if I just. I could have got more. Haska, there are 1,100 people who are alive who could have If I made more money. <laughs> Generations because of what you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't do enough. <laughs> you did so much. You did. This gun. Ten people right there. This pin. Wow. A person. I could have gone to a person. And I didn't. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> Mate. So beautiful, like, just the mentality. But it's also devastating, like, just the, the value of one person in this situation. Have you been in Poland? Are there any Jews left? Where should we go? Isn't that a town over there? Yeah, wow. They're literally just starting from scratch, hey? Like, where do we go? What do we eat? Bye. Good. Far out, mate. What an evil person he was. He failed his marriage in several businesses. Okay. Okay. At least it was acknowledged by them. Ah. Oh, nice. Wow. Such a lovely touch at the end of the movie to show all of them acknowledging him later in life. But I do like how, like, they, they mention the fact that he failed several businesses and his marriage failed. It's like, it kind of makes sense, right? Like, he wasn't a perfect person. He was, like, up until that point, he was extremely, like, immoral in many ways. But just from all the atrocities that he saw, he had the heart and the courage to save those people and do something incredibly...
heroic. I'm loving this, seeing the uh, the actors with the... I'm assuming the actual people. I could be wrong. Someone c can explain it in the comments what's going on there. Wow. Okay. Fewer than 4,000. 6,000 descendants from that... That list. That's flipping right. Six million. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, first of all, I want to congratulate everybody who watched this video, who's been watching all, like, other videos I've been watching that have been based on events and then wars. Um, you've done a very good job at watching these videos without, with, and being able to get through it without being exhausted. My gosh. This, this one was very different for me, I think. There were, there were a few very shocking moments throughout the movie that definitely took me off guard um, and were horrific. Um, but I felt like the movie wasn't trying to create like this, this shocking sort of thing. You know, it really didn't hesitate to make its viewer really settle into the reality of what was happening and just make you feel just sad and depressed about what was happening. And... Um, you know, the movie was so long, it just let you settle into the reality of it all. I think it's very easy to watch movies like this and just to kind of forget about it the second you're finished. And I don't want that to happen. I think this movie really leaves an impression on you and it teaches you something about what really happened and what it was like. And it makes you empathize. And I think it just did a brilliant job at doing that. I think the storytelling was really good too. Rafe and Liam did incredible jobs. I thought that um, Liam's slow sort of, um, or Oscar, <laughs> Oscar's um, change from becoming like this self-obsessed businessman, all about making the most money as possible um, and sleeping around to becoming this guy that was, you know, selflessly saving Jewish people giving up his entire wealth everything he he could like i think somewhere in the middle of the movie he he said he could retire and have more money than he could spend like any man could spend and at the end of the movie he has nothing and he's running which is just incredible just the shift in yeah his his character was just just incredible and i i still love that shot of him walking down the street with all those women that he just got out of auschwitz auschwitz I just thought that was such a beautiful transformation from the way he'd been treating women earlier in the movie. Rafe was just incredible as his character as well. Um, just such a psychopath. He just, but um, he was very complex as well. I think they gave a lot of room for him to show the audience um, his, his thought process. Like one part I really enjoyed was watching him trying to grasp how it could feel good helping people and it just didn't work. Um, I just thought that the performance there was really, really good. Um, absolutely hated his guts, so the actor did a brilliant job, so well done to him. I think I've been avoiding so far talking about just the shocking events that happened throughout the movie. I think it's because I think they're better left just untalked about, you know, like unsaid, because I feel like they are what they are, you know, those moments where people get shot in the head, um, incredible atrocities happened. It's, uh, there's not much you can say about it other than it's just absolutely evil and inhumane and I'm glad that the movie's over because I don't want to see any more of that. Um, yeah. But outside of that, I hope you guys really enjoyed the movie. Um, please let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed or anything I may, may have misinterpreted. It. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the reaction with me. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.